Oh, we're gonna climb block shaft. Oh boy. Oh, and these are the new guys. They're the uh, hook handed guys. And they do exactly the same thing. Okay, uh, as... that's a unique oh, wait, thing. Oh, no, Diddy yeah, they, can throw do. Their, they throw their hooks as boomerangs. I just showed off. Uh, Diddy Kong had the ability to kind of, uh, after, if he goes off during a roll, he had the ability to kind of jump away. And that becomes yeah. actually vital in some stages. Yeah, I think it was a bug in the first game, and then they just made it a, a thing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, whatever. So that is one of the things that la is lacking of the world for killing multiple enemies in a row, other than just satisfaction. I like the little well, thing. Mean, so there's not really a reward system set up in the game, period, for the most part. I know you get, uh, Kremlin coins and... Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's like, platforming stuff. Like, it's not really, aside from, aside from the very specific bonus stages about taking them out, there's no real purpose to taking them out. Purpose or porpoise? Neither. <laughs> hmm? Oh, just not making this be a mess. I don't think I'd like it if a game gave me a porpoise. Or something. I don't know. I never played that dolphin game. You probably get Echo the Dolphin. I played one of them. For the, uh, I, I, played, I played the one on the Sega Game Gear. Uh, I'm sorry you had a Game Gear. I didn't. One of my friends did. Well, I'm sorry for him then. <laughs> it could have been an end gauge. Yeah. Remember the end gauge? Oh. Yeah. It was gonna be like a smartphone uh, gaming system. It was, yeah, it was, it was kind of like a proto it was gonna, yeah, it was, yeah, that was, yeah, it was. And then it didn't work, it was, yeah. it was stupid. It, it was, had a lot of problems, but. It had like some Rainbow Six games on it, I think. And it I also, like, no, it had a uh, Splinter Cell. Yeah, I knew it had some had it, it had it, it had the game it had the Game Boy Advance port of Splinter Cell, but it was weird because the screen was vertical, and it was and that game was designed to be played on a horizontal screen, so you couldn't see as much. Damn it! Tried to outmaneuver that uh, handed guy. Yep, no, he's smarter than you thought. And then you fell well, for the he, I think he's just invincible, Charlie. You can't, like, jump over it because his head is protected. Uh, if I, if I had something to throw at him, I could kill him. Oh, well, yeah, but you'll never jump on his head because he's got a ledge that bumps up against his head. Yeah, Yeah, but if I could I like run the... up behind him and hit him from the behind, we'd probably, like, get him. Or hit him before uh, he throws. Gotta hit him on the slant. But yeah, there was always just something satisfying about getting the one up for hitting a bunch of Koopas in a row. Yeah. You know? Like, hey guys. I mean, this game, but this game doesn't. Even, this game doesn't even really have a concept of score. Like, uh, there's I mean, there, there's the like there's the stuff yeah for getting the uh for, you know getting bananas gives you a life. Up, oh, you have. Ha. You have to. Wait. And that was now you need the one up top. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you get that guy. And there's a one up to make up for the one up you lost trying to get the one up. Yeah, that was worth it. I'm trying to see if I can jump over that Dixie Kong bell because I got Dixie Kong. Got that Dixie Kong. I don't know why why they replaced it with the other Kong in uh, 64. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so they do mention like all the guys who are replacements for other guys are like the uh, little or bigger brother, brother respectively of the uh, characters. Tiny Kong yeah, is. Yeah, no, it was uh, really. It was. I mean, it was just. It was Donkey and Diddy Kong that were the were the only repeating characters in '64, uh, right? Uh, no. There was also uh, you know, uh, the uh, side characters like uh, uh, Funky Kong became the weapons guy, I think. Okay, reason. yeah, but I mean the main characters, like... Uh, Squawk. Donkey, Donkey and Diddy Kong were the only ones Rambi that were... Rambi was also in that game. <laughs> right into the bee. <laughs> uh, 
fly me to the Oh, now we got guac. Let me play among stings. Oh, got the, we got the, oh yeah. Yeah, and this one... He, he came, yeah, he, he was from the first game, except in that game he, uh, he just held the spotlight. Well, of course, because he can't pick up Donkey Kong. You see how big Donkey Kong is? But he can't oh, pick up the two little monkeys. And in some of the yeah, levels, no, he, he really uh, the, the levels he was in really didn't have much points. Like what? Him holding the spotlight was just kind of like yeah, it helped. It just it just happened. Like oh well, yeah, you did. Add anything. It didn't add anything to the level. He the added level, the ability like, to see. Yeah, that was about it. Like because the thing was, if you had him, then he filled enough of the screen that it like didn't matter. This is like the. It's like the level from Battletoads. You know, Except what makes that rare? They, they did Oh yeah, it. yeah, back when Rare was Trade West. Well, all even the parent gets hit, and he's just sitting there. Like, whatever. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I think that's their, the parent's mechanic, because if you get hit with the parent on, you, uh... Like, because yeah, I know they also made some level... Somebody. Yeah, some level where you need the animal companion, they made it so uh, you actually become them, and so you wouldn't like uh, lose them ever. Yeah, yeah, like the fucking bramble stage. Yeah. Or uh. That's one of the that's one of the few stages I that's one of the few stages I remember from this game. That in Toxic Tower, where in Toxic Tower you become the snake. And you have to outrun. I don't think you become the snake. I think you just ride the snake. I mean, maybe you do. Um. No, I'm pretty sure you become a snake in that one. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. It's like, it's it's uh, in the second to last world of the game. Yeah, back at uh, the captain's castle, right beside the captain's helicarrier. Up, oh, we gotta watch out for these guys they are shooting down. Get these guys because they're invincible. Oh, yep, more red bees. They're called zingers, Matt. <laughs> there, there we go. You gotta shoot up. Up is different than down, Charlie. And there's a delay, man. And then you gotta, you gotta play the man. All right, cleavers, Clint. Yeah, go kill. I remember cleaver was always my cleaver was always my favorite boss. Oh yeah, the thief is the sword. I remember now. Yeah. I remember I um, learned what a cleaver was because of this. I learned mainly that it's not what this guy is. This guy was fucking named Cleaver. Oh, it's is uh, kind of a cleaver. A sword can be called a cleaver. No, but a cleaver is a specific. It's a specific kind. He is very much a cutlass or a falchion. This guy just one job and you fucked it up. And that was the be what your name said it was. <laughs> Oh, he dies like Terminator! Ah, uh, no, he doesn't. Remember, oh, he was- Oh, yeah, but he doesn't <laughs> die! <laughs> He's like that guy made of liquid metal and think he saw it. Ah, that was a- Yeah, there always seems to be two coins hit around the, uh, boss level. Mysterious appearing cannonball to hit this magic floating sword. Oh, what would you hit a floating sword with? I don't know. A ma mysterious magical cannonball would be my best bet. 
Yeah, I think most bosses have two stages that take about like loads and Flyzer. Yeah, I think this is my favorite death of any boss. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think also most bosses have a uh, three form. And uh, I wonder if I, we have enough to do that level's bonus stage. Alright, so we gotta go to our pilot to get us out of here. Barrel Bayou. Down in Bayou. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, you saw that. I feel uh, ripped off. Oh okay, yeah, I think these ones have a like a. Oh yeah, on. they 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 shoot you out automatically after like after the certain amount of time on them. And they introduce it into a place which is it could be hard to kill you in. Yep, that's how video game tutorials are. And then there's this guy that throws. Also, once again, awesome soundtrack. Did you see that? Threw a bee! Who throws bees? That guy. Mysterious. Jacket man. He's a ghost. Bullet bees. Oh, there's two of Bullet them. Bullet Tommy, or Bee Tommy gun. <laughs> God damn it. Wonder. Oh, you can also, yeah, use your partner to take out dudes. Spin the other way now. Sacrifices were made. In the name of banana coins. Oh, these I can aim these ones. Kind of. You saw what happened in the last game, right? You picked this way to shoot. No, I, that I was so close from the midpoint. Maybe I should stop trying to correct it and let it do a rotation first. Yeah. Something I just realized about Banjo Kazooie on the topic of railway games. What? That everything is anthropomorphized. Oh yeah, yeah. Even the items. Even the items, even the rocks you destroy. 
Yeah, I know. Literally, like, anything you can interact with. The horrifying world of terrible moral choices. Huh? No, anything you eat, anything you touch, anything you use is alive. I mean, that's... In reality, that's not so different. Well, the honeycombs seem to like it and want you to eat them. Yo, that's just fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that the, it's like that, it's like that, it's like It's like that commercial about spaghetti sauce where they talk about it from the perspective of the spaghetti and they like... I guess it, it's, or I guess, no, it's like, it's like Hitchhiker's Guide, like, we knew we weren't gonna stop eating cows, so we made cows that wanted to be, we made cows that wanted to be eaten. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I watched you, or listened through uh, most of the radio series they did. It's basically as good as the uh, books. It's a little bit different, obviously, but... It's pretty strong. Also like that one, uh, like, poster of a pig cutting itself open. And showing you, like, it, all its meat so you can eat him. Know what I'm talking about? I, I don't, but I don't doubt it exists. You sure it wasn't a fever dream? No. It wasn't like a Big Lebowski style uh, cutaway? No. Okay. I, I don't think I could make something like that up. Possibly. I-I have faith in you, though. <laughs> I bet you're supposed to use the other barrel going up. Well, Not straight up, but like up and to the right. To do that one without hanging the feet. Yeah, but my way's easier. Yeah, but you always lose a guy. Well, I also lose a guy from that. Yeah, guys... Losing one guy hasn't been the problem lately. It's just winding up in a pit. Yeah. I don't remember this level being this hard. I thought I this was either. a notoriously hard level. There are a lot of notoriously hard levels in this game. Cause you got, like, Talk to Tower. The Bramble one. Yeah, some of the Bramble ones are pretty... Although, I, although I'm willing to forgive the Bramble ones for most of their transgressions, because I like that music. Yeah. With its weird synth trumpets. And then in uh, Smash Bros, they uh, added a uh, guitar. Hmm. And, like, oh, did they, actually, did they actually remake the level in Smash Bros? Yeah, uh, they may re had that uh, remake that sound, that uh, song. And they use it for a lot of the uh, subspace and mystery levels. Uh. Because it's a, it's a nice chill out uh, song to have a level two. Ah, your box is no match for my round box. With iron bands. For me. supposed to shoot up and then maybe you can reposition yourself Ha ha ha! 
I might be bad at this. That's a distinct possibility. Cut to a montage of of a uh, LP cut to dying. a montage of me dying over and over again. Oh, maybe. I feel like putting effort into this. Well, at least I can make use of that, Dr. Bear. Yep. That's doing good for the first two worlds, you gotta admit, give me that. Yeah, no. Yeah, like 26 lives. Now you have 10. You still have more than you did when you started. Well, also, this was a good opportunity for grinding banana coins. Around and around and pump and hand cards. Uh, okay, that is probably how you do it. Uh, yeah, you just gotta angle it. Fuck! Oh, man. How long have I been on this level? I don't even know. I think, like, at least 10 minutes. This is shameful. And it is shameful, because there, I shouldn't be fucking that, up that barrel so much. Well, like, I'm... Sh At least after I do it once, I won't have to do it ever again. By virtue of uh, having a continued barrel next to it. Man, what the shit is happening tonight? This is like the 10th ambulance I've heard. You live in Chicago, man. Yeah, but I normally... I, I mean, on a given night, I'll normally hear like... Maybe three to five. Yeah, are you sure it's not a uh, 28 days later or something going on? Maybe. There's, uh, there might be some rage monkeys. I better to stay inside. Probably. That's my plan anyway. It's always my plan. Alright, fine. Oh, that one's close. Finally, I can hey, make progress! Sam, you, Sam, you wanna commentate on... You wanna commentate on the Donkey Kongs? Is that what's going on in this call? Yeah. Oh, hey, there they are. There's the Donkey Kongs. Yeah. Yeah. And then Charlie shoots... They're all by you. Charlie keeps shooting himself into a baby. <laughs> it's a dinger. At least this is taking. <laughs> that was impressive. I need a cannonball for that cannon. Don't think you're gonna get it. Yeah, probably not. There's Wait, I could have had Rambi this entire time! Where the shit was he? Also, I don't think he would have been helpful during all the fucking barrels. Yeah, but I... Yeah, 
Yeah. And then there's the barrel that goes that way, and you gotta press right. Alright. He's oh, not going to go. Platformers. Oh. Why are you so... jumpy? Looks like they're named after what you do in them. We got the con. We got oh. the con super nuisance phone. Eat shit, B. Fuck you. Up, oh, gonna get full Kong. Oh man, we're about to go full Kong. You never go full Kong. We just went full Kong and then we died. Don't do it. Don't do it. Wait, so do we? We're I... at a point where we can just keep getting infinite lives now. Uh, we get infinite. We get infinite retries. I think it becomes a zero sum game. Yeah, I know. We get infinite retries. And then you hit the B again. <laughs> I don't... You keep hitting the B. Hit him in the B! That has been my commentary in this game. Good night, Internet. <laughs> and Sam... <laughs> and then, yeah, Sam drops the mic. Hit the B. <laughs> Also, to be fair, I could get killed by this guy, but I'm not that much of a chump. Also, I like the mechanic that you have to, like, uh, kind of redirect yourself mid-air with those barrels. Yeah, those are weird ones. Oh. <laughs> At least we're still going. Don't hit the B, don't hit the B. God damn it! Oh, I have two people. I can hit the B. <laughs> I don't know why every time. It just keeps happening. Once you have bees, bro. I told you, dog. Also, I like you can just take out people with the uh, with your partner. Yeah. Take them out. Take them out to Electric Avenue. Don't want to get any higher. Okay, that one's just a disappointing. <laughs> it wasn't the B this time. <laughs> what kind of game? What uh. have to save state because not like to like you know save state to a positive level just so I don't game over and lose all my progress. Oh yeah, when was the last time you saved? Never! You Never. found it! <laughs> Don't worry, I got two more lives before I have to worry about it. <laughs> Alright.